swore that the stars spilled out of the AC was broken. So we slept with the windows open. There were church bell sirens and fire alarms in three part harmony. Right after dawn, we walked into the diner. Brought a smile and I lost my life. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta get away to a place where nobody knows your name. Get lost in the lights, let the rhythm of a night take your hand and leave you astray. Tell me how you feel, brand new. Down west, fourth and sixth avenue. Alright, so I've been fortunate enough for working for myself, being a freelancer, being a contractor, and not be so tied down to any specific location at any single time, and a 9 to 5 job, which I hate doing anyways. Uh, but you know what, that is kind of like most people's lives, and uh, I've worked that life. You know, I've worked a 9 to 5, I've done all those shit that, you know, people go through. The stress and anxiety that work causes you, colleagues. And for me, I'm an introverted person, so I'm kind of like the type of person who'd like to stay inside or who like to be alone. Uh, I would rather study at a library than I would in a coffee shop, um, just because there's a lot more people and there's talking and, you know, partially ADD myself. So that kind of stuff really bothers me at times and that's why I can't really uh, be around others because I get highly distracted. So having a remote job where I can be in the middle of a dry riverbed like this and to be able to work, I mean, that is my lifestyle. I, I love it. Now working remotely with an iPad or a laptop isn't always the ideal way of working for some people, but for me it is and I love it. Now it is a privilege for me to be able to work like this. I mean, the, the stuff that I get to experience, the places I get to go are endless possibilities as long as I'm making money and I can actually pay for the plane tickets and stuff. But otherwise, yeah, I mean, what more better way to, you know, to kind of be with nature uh, which I love. I love being in nature. I lived in Tokyo before. I don't like it. Um, and now that I've kind of, you know, been with my parents for the past three months, I feel like I like the rural countryside of Japan. I like living out here. Um, I do want to get a couple places out here. Um, and yeah, uh, there's a lot of cheap housing in the rural areas of Japan. So if you have the opportunity to invest in real estate, in Japan, I mean, I would highly recommend you to do it. Okay, but there is a slight issue to working remote, and especially if you're like living out of a van and doing that whole van life thing, is power. And power sometimes you do have with RVs if you converted it right, and sometimes you can work off of the car, like I do sometimes. But if you don't have that, and or you just don't want to waste your juice of the battery on your car, then you need something like a battery, a portable battery. Not a small one, but a good enough size where it's not too heavy to carry, but it's not too small to the point where it doesn't have enough power to deliver. And I have just the item for you. So this is the Evimoto NV600. And this one is a power station. It is actually pretty small and it's really easy to carry. It has a little top handle up here that folds out, tucks in, and yeah. It also does have a little light here so you can turn on this button, hold on to it. A light will pop up right there. Obviously it's not that dark so you can't really tell too much. But this is a portable station that helps me get through my work and it lasts quite a long time. All right, so let me tell you a little bit about this portable power station. And yes, this video is sponsored by Evimoto and I have been, you know, basically given this item to just review it, to see how it works, to, you know, to get the goods and bads. 
And well, honestly, I don't really have too much of a bad about it because it's been working. Uh, I haven't had it for that long, about a month, I would say, a month and a half. And I've been testing it and it hasn't overheaten, hasn't crashed on me, it powered up, it charges. So, I mean, we'll see after a year of use and see how it is. Most of these items, you gotta use it for quite a bit. But let me tell you a little bit about the specs so you can kind of See if you want to purchase this and there's a little fly it's like get away so anyways i have the manual here because i'm bad with numbers just uh just bear with me all right all right the nv600 here is 600 watts you know go figure all right so as you can see there are some ports right here let me go over them real quick for you so you have two usb type a's now one is 18 watts the other one is 15 watts and then the usb c which is 15 watts as well and then you have your power delivery 65 watt usb c so you can charge your ipad with that um, and or any of the later generations of macbooks or any you know non-power consuming laptops you can charge with that as well you have a couple of dc outputs right here so just in case you have any of those DC plugins, you can put it in there. And then moving on to the bottom here, you're going to have your car cigarette port. So you can, I don't know, plug an air compressor in. Um, you can do that, the portable ones at least. And then you have two ACs, like household ACs. Right on the LCD, you're going to have a display here which shows how much battery life it has. It also actually shows you how much wattage it is putting out depending on how many devices you have plugged in. And then you also have buttons which you can switch from your AC to DC. So depending on which one you want to use, you could just hold that button. You can actually have both of them on at the same time, or you can turn one off to consume power. Or, you know, if you leave it on, then I don't think it actually does anything in terms of just power loss, but you want to maybe just focus all that power onto one. So you can just switch it on between DC and AC. Now you might be wondering how heavy is this thing? Is this thing like easily carried by anyone? I would say yes, maybe kids will have a little bit of a difficulty, but I wouldn't recommend letting your kids handle this at all anyways. So don't let your kids handle it, that's it. Uh, but otherwise this thing just weighs under 11 pounds or just under five kilos. So if you can lift five kilos, you're more than good to go with this. Now as for charge time, let's see what it says right here. You have, you can charge it with solar. So if you have solar panels, then it'll charge with 5.5 hours on a 100 watt solar panel. And you have AC adapter, which it comes with. There's a little charger that you can plug in. That takes six and a half hours. And then you have nine hours with the 60 watt wall charger for the USB-C. But if you plug in the DC and the 60 watt USB-C charger at the same time, it's gonna charge in 3.3 hours. So I would say that's pretty good. I mean, not bad. You can charge it while you're charging a Tesla. And for those of you who actually care, uh, 140,000 for the milliamps on this battery. Uh, for capacity. So that's a lot. I mean, you can charge a lot of devices. But anyways, I want to thank Evimoto for sponsoring this video today. And well, hopefully I can put that battery to good use throughout the year because I'm going to be traveling around Japan and hopefully showing you guys bits and pieces of Japan. But also I do want to show you guys a little bit more cinematic sequences in my videos. So hopefully I can do that for you. But otherwise, I mean, I don't know. I'm getting bit by bugs here. I'm like, I don't know what to do. I think I'm gonna pack up and go. This camera is just so awesome. Okay, anyways, peace, bye.